Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of cancer. Yeah, for some of you, there's been something dark attached to you. Also, what I'm getting, very spiritual. So for some of you, a lot of people, even like with your ancestors, all of your ancestors are not of the light. And you know, I was saying like gang, gang. Some of you have ancestors who are dark. And if you are like summoning help or like invoking help from your ancestors, some of you have ancestors that will come in and they are in a darker energy, believe it or not. Okay. Just follow me. They will help do this cleanup work for you. Okay. Because they're like, no, we're about their, their darker life. You cannot always run from the dark in your shadow. This is what this is. Some of you, you have, you definitely could have people on your spiritual team. They, they're not there to hurt you or to harm you, but they, they, they do believe in, um, <laughs> listen, they choose violence. <laughs> I'll just say that they, they don't mind choosing violence when it comes to protecting you. And an avenging angel will destroy you. It's the same thing. Some of you are realizing that even as an earth angel, you have the power and the ability. And, and you've been giving also like the authority to act in that way also. Some of you, you are like spiritual assassins. I've talked about that on my channel. I have a playlist of readings about all of this. You can check that out. Some type of magic here is has backfired, okay? Just know that. But it's it's going to clear something out because yeah, King of Pentacles could be involved here. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy. Someone here could have paid a lot of money for some type of magic to be done and it's backfiring. You're entirely too strong for this. Yeah, the three of wands and the lovers. For some of you, also, I just want to make this a point as well. The person for some of you that is protecting you, this could be a counterpart. Now, I'm getting several different messages. And like I said, this is why I I post daily because so many messages come to me taking one day off. I'm overloaded. Some of you, this person is protecting you. This like the man in black. This could be a divine counterpart. For some of you, this is like a, a spouse that you had in a past life there's still some kind of connection and they watch over you okay some of you especially if you are like a widow or a widower you have a counterpart a, a, a you know a spouse they're protecting you because they're seeing so you, you have some kind of angel a guard a protector that's around you Okay, someone also knows that you're manifesting a new connection. You could be a manifesting a new connection and the person that's coming into your life, they're already spiritually, energetically connected to you. They're protecting you in the spirit world. You guys, and if you think about it, I have a lot of reasons why I'm like, you have this person that seems like they're like a secret agent or a military person. I've been channeling that for like a year now. So for some of you, maybe in a past life, you were with someone that was like in the military or something like that, or this person, they are a spiritual assassin or a spiritual judge. Some of you, either you or your person, and I'm getting Mr. and Mrs. Smith coming to my, you and someone else, you both are like spiritual assassins. That's a part of your life purpose is to clear, like clear out bad guys here on this planet. But for some of you, maybe you haven't tapped into that yet. And you could have a counterpart or angel guy ancestor. They're helping you. They're giving you that nudge. So that makes sense why I'm saying for some of you, it's like maybe you just did like a spiritual bath or something for the first time. And it's powerful. It's potent because you already have that power within you. You just never have tapped into it. Or this is someone else around you. Maybe for some of you, someone else has, has taken a spiritual bath or, you know, done like a prayer candle or something like that to protect you. And it's, it's really, really strong. Like you're, you're very much covered and protected and it's causing this backfire and this domino effect to happen to any and everything around you that's coming against you.
Yeah, five of wands. There it is right there. And look at here, the star as above, so below. Yeah, I'm telling you. And here we have it, this king of swords here. This could be Archangel Michael, but you have a spiritual judge. Someone here has heavy Libra and Scorpio in their chart, I feel. Falling under this magician, it's like as above, so below. So when someone comes at you with magic, you have this person in the spiritual realm that these, that to me, I'm saying this is the man in black right here. They're like, no. <laughs> so when a person comes at you to do something, here's the five of wands and then the five of swords. This group is always defeated because like in the song, the man in black, what did it say? Something about um, guarding you against the, the scum of the universe or something like that. Some of you, this is just you, you've gained, you've gained your own angel wings. You've gained, um, th this is like a, a triple shield of protection or something that you have. And for some, like I said, it, it's a lot of different things. For some of you, this is just, you've inherited some type of spiritual gift you're tapping into. Someone in the spirit realm could sense that you're in danger, okay? Because I do feel that for some of you with this um, Mercury retrograde, someone wanted to keep you in the past or hold you back from some type of new life path or your, your soul contract with the lover's card being here. And the, I did a reading like two weeks ago about the gatekeepers. There's been an evil gatekeeper here. Someone has been watching and monitoring your life. They, they're, they're paying for this big time. Yeah, page of cups here. Someone here was very childish. Somebody here is a baby. Like they're they're very young spiritually. And I feel like someone I'm hearing page of cups, someone saw you as someone who was perhaps naive and gullible. They thought this magic was going to work on you. They didn't know about this this triple I hear a triple shield of protection that you have around you or somebody this is, again, you tapping into something more, when I say sh like a shadow aspect of you, so I don't mean bad, but somebody is like, you know, probably saying, oh, that person, they're just loving like that person. They're naive. They're gullible. They're doing hoodoo, voodoo, and everything else behind your back. You go and you take one spiritual bath and it blows everything up. You know? <laughs> or, you know, you sit down, you pray and meditate for, for a few days and boom, like every, everything goes to hell. Some of you with the Ten of Cups here, definitely, you have a a passed on loved one, an ancestor, a guy. They've heard your prayers. They've heard your their your prayers, and now somebody is is going out because they're like there is some type of entity. There's a there's something that's coming after you. So someone in your family is aware, or someone that you consider like family, or someone who wants to have a family with you. They are aware. That, that something is, is after you. You're being watched constantly. This owl is here. It signifies, of course, like the all knowing, all seeing for you. But I feel like someone here has been monitoring you. Someone has been monitoring your spiritual gifts and your spiritual growth. You have a past on loved one, angel guide, ancestor, or divine counterpart. That's like, no. They've always been there to cover you and to protect you. And now they're most likely... They're protecting you or they're teaching you how to protect yourself. Yeah, because in these cards, the way I'm seeing these cards, the, the images now with the story is very different. You've gotten your own like little witch's broom. Knight of Wands, you've gotten a passion now for protection. So for some of you, like I said, you're learning about protection and you're passionate about it now. So for some of you, maybe you, you've you really increased your protection, your, your, um, your spiritual hygiene, um, you're maybe you're saging, you're smudging your home, you're taking spiritual baths, you're praying, you're meditating more. This is it's expelling everything negative and dark. It's pushing out all of the negative energy as somebody they wasn't whoever has been doing this to you in the background, they weren't prepared for this. Mm -mm. Yep, the moon. Here it is, the moon. Up and it came out upside down. Um th there's no more illusions there. Something that was appearing real at some point, you're seeing now that it was an illusion. Also, I feel like the same way someone tried to create an illusion for you, your spirit guides, like the men in black, they've like erased someone's memory about you, I feel. And this was to protect you. 
because the two of swords, you are being targeted perhaps by some kind of spiritual leader or group, or because you are a, a spiritualist or you lead some type of group, um, maybe you're very, like, consider wise counsel, you're being protected because you're being targeted. Oh, okay. Yeah, someone was trying to create some kind of illusion for you. The big, and I, I said this like a week ago, you have people around you that are wolves in sheep's clothing, they don't know though that you're the real wolf. <laughs> They don't, they, they think you're just a baby, like, you know, you're just a baby. You're a little cute puppy. No, you're the wolf that leads the pack. They don't know that they, they're, they're, they're finding out though, because everything is backfiring. Everything. The good thing about this though, is like I said, whatever this, this traumatic experience is for some, it's going to be, like, yeah, Will of Fortune, it's going to be as if it never even happened. And when it comes to you going on your life path, your life journey, going into a soulmate connection or whatever this is that you're making a choice to do that brings you love, peace, harmony, joy, excitement or whatever in your life, the wheel of fortune is here. So I'm telling you, there is a, a karmic ending here. So you need to for sure, if you want something to be over, just ask for it to be over. And I feel like the wish will be granted you you're you're getting the help and the assistance that you need this could definitely be archangel michael but for some of you it's it's bigger than that for some of you you have a whole gang of like angels guys ancestors they're surrounding you like they're they're not playing any games wow <laughs> ten of pentacles damn Ooh, with the death card what did i say I listen to this th th when spirit tells me hold on to a message I know what I'm talking about first of all I have readings for a year or two that's telling you everything that has happened in the but karmic justice is here look at this ten of pentacles death card one door opens when one door closes another one opens the ace of swords is truth and clarity and then the fool you're free Ace of Pentacles. Now you've seen me shuffle these cards a hundred times. You cannot make any of this up. Your new beginning, I've been saying this all week, your new beginning, your emperor is here. This emperor for some of you is a counterpart for some of you. Yeah, look, your emperor, whether for some of you this is a father figure, a deceased loved one, spouse, counterpart or whomever, Someone, heavy Scorpio energy, someone is coming in and they're bringing the tower down to put a permanent end to any and everything that has ever even thought about standing in your way. Someone here is very much aware of this gang of people, this teamwork, this collaboration done by someone here to try to target a high priest, high priestess. The world card is here. You've passed this level here. There's no, you can rest. Four of Swords, you can rest now because, yeah, love is here. You are lovable. You can rest now because I'm telling you, somebody is about to destroy everything. This this right here is the man in black. That death angel, that grim reaper is not playing. You guys have, have called on help like daddy, granddaddy, papa, somebody. You're like, help me, help me. Oh, baby, they heard you. They was like, oh, somebody, somebody trying to steal something from you? Oh, okay. <laughs> Hold on one second. Man in black. Because I'm telling you, some of you, you have even passed on loved ones or someone from your past. Everybody has a past and, and everybody in your life is not upright. Somebody in your life, this lifetime, could have passed on or this could be a family member, a friend. Somebody results to the, the big D word when stuff don't go right. They, they, they don't play nice. And I, I keep hearing that coming out of my body for you. So, uh, oh, what did I hear it before, too? Like I said, I, coming out of retirement. So, you know how some people, they've lived a certain lifestyle. They give that up. Somebody is like, oh, wait a minute. I'll make a call. Like John Wick. This person was like, oh, so you're going to play with my counterpart? You're going to play with my baby? You're going to play with my, my husband, my wife? You're going to play with mine? 
or this this is God, this Archangel Michael, whomever, whoever resonates to you, somebody does not play about you. And they're like, I'm coming out of my body. And you guys know when people say the the expression, oh, they're probably rolling rolling over, turning over in their grave about about this. That's exactly what this is. Somebody is like, I'll be damned. I'll be damned if they do another ritual on you. I'm coming, I'm coming out of my body. For some of you, you have a person. This could be someone that you're dating, a friend, family member, anybody. They could have done some dark things in the past. They they could have given that up, chosen the good life. Somebody's like, that's okay. Because you won't leave this divine feminine, this divine masculine alone. Give me one sec. All, all I got to do is make one call. Just like in John Wick, it's like, let me slot this gold coin. Get the man in black. Load him up. Hire some help. Get rid of them. It's that type of energy. Like somebody here is not playing. I don't know. I don't know who you like. Who you were in a past life, but it's like you dealing with a chief here. They're like, I'm not playing with you. I may not be in that life anymore, but I'm still about that life. One phone call, I'll get rid of you. I'm hearing. I'm hearing somebody say right now. Oh, I can reach out and touch you. And you, if you know, you know. Somebody's like, I can reach out and touch you. Make no mistakes about it. And like a thief in the night, you don't see me coming. You don't hear me coming. But I can reach out and touch you. Like, that's the kind of energy that somebody is on out here. Because somebody is sick and tired of being sick and tired. Or they're sick and tired of you being sick and tired. So they're like, we're going to go ahead and, and clear this up. Because somebody thought that with this Mercury retrograde being at the beginning of this year, that they were going to go ahead and do a ritual and set you back so that you cannot move forward this year in that chariot energy. Worst mistake of their life. It could actually cost somebody their life. Damn, justice. It could cost somebody their life. Somebody could go to jail or to hell. They they will be punished. This is This is permanent. Strength. Yeah, I bet somebody up now stressed out for trying to create this stronghold. They wanted you to be out in the cold. Mm -mm. This person didn't do anything but curse themselves to nothing but burdens. Because they created these illusions and thought that they were going to watch you, stalk you, spy on you, monitor you, send the dogs out for you. But like I said, nobody knew that you was actually the we the wolf in the sheep's clothing. Some of you, I don't even think you realize that. And if it's not you, you don't understand the type of family, the royal bloodline, or or you don't understand what's embedded in you, the actual power that you have. Mr. and Mrs. Smith, you and someone, whether it's a friend, family member, or sibling, you and this person, you stand together in protecting one another and protecting the collective. So when you come up against these different entities, principalities, these different dark beings that are after you, it's like you and somebody, you come together like, hold on, let's handle that. Gang, gang, let's handle that together. And this may not be someone that you're even in communication with. This person could be deceased, or this could just be what you're doing in the spirit realm with somebody. This is deep. It's real deep. I just keep hearing in my head over and over and over, coming at my body for you. Queen of Wands. Here's the Queen of Cups. And the Queen of Wands is here. And the Knight of Swords. Somebody don't play about you because for some of you, I had a reading the other day and I said Divine Mask has his foot on the neck of a karmic. This karmic, this, this karmic could be a male, female, or anybody. Friend, family member. For some of you, someone keeps attacking you because of some kind of third party energy. That person is going to be eliminated. They'll never be able to attack you again. Ever. Six of Wands, yeah. Three of Swords, Knight of Swords. What did I just say? Whatever someone is doing now to get someone off of you, they will be successful in it because they're going to ensure that you're successful. This three of swords here, somebody is like, oh no, I said this person is coming in to mend your broken heart. They're like, no, this success is yours. You, this queen of wands could be you. Somebody's like, no, you're going to be comfort like comfortable and confident. 
You're going to be ambitious. You're going to be assertive. You're going to have your time to shine. And yeah, because look, the judgment card that's here behind it is the Empress. The Page of Wands, that's your new beginning here. And here you have the Ace of Cups. You become awakened and enlightened to the truth. It's all gas, no brakes. Whoever thought they was going to stop your chariot, they didn't do anything, but they, they, they sped it up for you. Two of Pentacles here. Whatever was an imbalance is being transmuted and balanced out by this temperance angel. A lot of you are, you, you carry this energy of like a, an earth angel or an ascended master yourself, or you're very connected to that. Some of you, I'm telling you, you, you come from a bloodline of very, very powerful people. And maybe now because of your level of consciousness and awareness, you're tapping into that energy. When you pray, they hear you. When you cry, they hear you. They see you. They're like, I wish you would make this person cry. I wish you would attack this person in any way. If a person tries to light a candle on you, they, they'll burn down a whole forest. It's like somebody is not playing about you. And and honestly, it's, it's really just God. Honestly, because of who you are and what your purpose and your destiny is. You have to be here. And it's like, because people keep attacking you, it's slowing you down from getting to where you're supposed to go. And it's like enough is enough. Sometimes it's like if, if I have to hire some help and get rid of them and call in the man in black, then that's what we're going to do. That's the kind of time we're on because you're not going to stop this divine feminine or masculine any longer. Try another ritual. Light another candle. Play with this person if you want to. It's going to cost you and your family their lives. This in the spirit realm is like a spiritual war between families or different beings. I'm telling you, it's so much bigger than what you see and what you hear. Somebody has like caused like this is like a spiritual war of different beings where it's like you mess with this. It's, some of you, it's almost like, like you were born into a spiritual mafia family. <laughs> this one is like, it's like, wait a minute. I don't know, cancel that person out, like, like, cancel them. That's, that's the energy. They did what to divide feminine? Somebody's like, wait a minute, <laughs> the trumpets blow. They did what to divide feminine? Oh, okay. Yeah. Cancel that. Instantly. One call. Something about one call. It's like one prayer. One bath. One thought. You out of here. Somebody's protection has went up overnight. If you're watching this channel right now, if you're cross watching and you are attacking a divine feminine, who this person is in the spiritual realm or divine masculine, you need not ever attack this person again because I'm telling you, it's going to hit you. If not you, the ones that you love. And it's a domino effect. These fives are major changes. You get a group together, I promise you, everything you touch is going to backfire. Somebody needs to know that somebody's, somebody's belief, their family, these angels, or whomever that protect them, when they call on justice, their justice is the big D, the grim reaper. Somebody believes in death is justice. They saying there's no other way. I'm coming out my body and I'm coming to get you. And that's just on period. Heavy Libra Scorpio energy. If you're a Scorpio, if you're a Libra, if you have this heavily aspected in your chart, I'm telling you, you either you have this power or if you have this, thing, people need to leave you alone. Thing about it, though, is whoever has been doing this, that it's already up and stuck. I've been saying that since last year. I had a reading. Um. Last year I was channeling, what's that Katy Perry song? Man, that was a that was a deep, deep reading. I remember it right now. Dark. Is it called Dark Horse? Yeah, it says um, Dark Horse. I knew I knew you were gonna come to me, and here you are. But you better choose carefully because I'm capable of anything, of anything and everything. Make me your Aphrodite. Make me your one and only, but don't make me your enemy. So like I told you, for some of you, 
you you have a connection. This could be a counterpart or somebody. They're dark. They have a darker side to them. They will kill and destroy for you. It says, so you want to play with magic? Boy, you should know what you're falling for. Baby, do you dare to do this? Oh my gosh, I'll have to try to find that reading. It's on my playlist though. If you check my playlist of readings, because all this stuff, it happened. A lot of this stuff, it happened last year and several years before and you're receiving karmic justice for. For some of you, if you had a karmic soulmate that was coming up against you, this person, they're, they're, they're paying for this because it says, oh, so you want to play with magic? Boy, you should know what you're falling for. Baby, do you dare to do this? Because I'm coming at you like a dark horse. Somebody is getting some heavy karma for something that they did to you. And it doesn't matter who it is. If And, and now it makes me think about in John Wick. The guy who he got back in the game to go and get was this man's son that he had worked with before. He told the man pretty much, I'm going to get your son. They sent all these different people for John Wick. John Wick probably took out like 30 plus people. When he has a target, he will never, ever miss. When the people call the father of the, 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 the Russian young man, doesn't matter. I, I just, I'm just saying that because if you see the movie, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. The man answered the phone and said, make the arrangements. He already knew. Baby, your son is gone. <laughs> In the movie, he says, we call John Wick. John, his son was like, oh, is that the boogeyman? No, we called John Wick to take out the boogeyman. Somebody didn't know who you were. Because, like I said, they thought you were just, you know, you were a sheep. No, you're the wolf. Everybody thinks that just because they wear a mask, they don't know that you wear a mask, too. Some of you don't know what's behind your mask, but you're about to find out. Because your angels, guys, and ancestors, the way they're about to clean house with these people... You're going to know exactly who and what you come from very soon. Because I'm telling you, justice for a lot, it's a permanent ending. Somebody's going to quickly get the message. You need not play with that one. Because everything and everybody's going to start dropping. It's a domino effect. It's boom, boom, boom. I'm seeing it. Everything is going to collapse. Somebody is saying, I'm coming out of my body for you. When they shoot, they don't miss. I had a reading a few weeks ago and I said for some, it's like a, almost like the, the energy of like a, 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 a um, what do you call it? Like a, C, like a CIA agent or a, a military person. They're in the Marines, it's the, people are trained as that. They have a license to kill. They're trained in this. Maybe in a past life, somebody was like an assassin or something like that. Somebody, when they shoot, they don't ever miss. So somebody needs to know when they come up against you, when you call out their prayer, your touch reaches far. Nothing or nobody will be missed. And in these situations, there is no mercy. Because if you make a person come out of their body to get you, you already did too much anyway. It is what it is. If you push a person to this point where they have to call on karmic justice like this, you've already done way too much. There is no turning back. This is a message, but it's going to come across the ears of the right person because this is very serious. Somebody does not realize the jeopardy and the danger that they put themselves and several other people in because they decided to come up against you. They really don't know. I just heard Spirit say, and it's fine. We like the we like the surprise factor. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Somebody's like, that's fine. So like the thief and the night, like the man in black. 44, 44 on the on the timer. You got a wealthy man out here, somebody I'm telling you, they're like. And I feel like this is a person, poverty and wealthy man. Somebody here, they may not look like what you think. They may look like they're in poverty. Like I always say, this person is spiritually rich. 
Somebody here, yeah. Look at the adjudication. What I tell you, somebody in the spirit realm, they look at this despair. Somebody, what I say? Somebody's like, I came out the game. Yo, now videos are are monitor, but you already know despair. Official person, what did I say earlier? Somebody's like, I don't live like that anymore. I don't do stuff like that anymore. They're like, I gave, I gave the game up. I don't do that. This person could have done something in the past to make a lot of money. And they didn't care at all about stumping on anybody's toes. They're like, man, I don't do that anymore. Oh, but for this empress, this divine feminine, this divine masculine, I'm coming at my body for that one. Oh, I'm coming out of retirement for that one. Family room. This could be somebody in your family that's working against you. Or as as a as a child, you had someone that has been assigned to you to protect you. Some of you have people in your family though that's working against you. <laughs> it, it's no great. It's no mercy because you being connected to someone by blood doesn't mean that they're not karmic. Doesn't mean that they're not a hazard to your life. But somebody here is saying for sure. I'll give up everything to protect that one, to protect that child. For some of you, this is your, this could be a, a loved one that's protecting you. This could be your, your parent. This could be your father, your mother, grandfather, grand, grandmother. Somebody's like, I'll give up everything. Even in the spirit realm, they're like, this is, I'll, I'll die again to protect that one. Somebody is concerned. This is an elderly man who is concerned. And this elderly man, if you know about energy, Wow, that's crazy. This person could be, this person could, oh my God. This person could have already like reincarnated as a younger person. I don't know where they came from. It's like a person energy it never it never dies it's never can be destroyed it's almost like it's like you have a person in your life age doesn't matter but somebody is protecting you this person could look like a child could be a child child children are very innocent this person could be very innocent now, but perhaps in a past life or who they are in the spirit. There is, um, when I say darkness, I don't want to say bad, but I'll just say they can handle a situation if something comes against you. I'm seeing, what's that movie called? What's that movie called? Twilight. The werewolves. I'm hearing Im imprint. If you've ever seen Twilight, what's his name? What's her name? Bella and Edward. When they have a child who obviously is like a halfling or vampire and human or something. Like nobody ever thought it was possible. The werewolf who was in love with Bella, werewolves will imprint a person. Meaning once they connect with that person energetically, spiritually, they will forever protect that person. You could have been imprinted by someone. Wow. Yes. Thank you, spirit. You were assigned some type of, and this could be a different message, but it all is connected. You've been assigned, okay, it makes perfect sense. You've been assigned a person in your life who was like a divine bodyguard. This is some type of angel, galactic being, or something like that. But who this person is in the spirit realm, their ranking and their level of protection, and their, I just heard, and their authorization to do things is so high. Nothing can come against you with this. This person has imprinted you.
something could have happened. This part, this person, so 18 to 21, I'm get, it's almost like a past life thing. Like for some of you, someone could have, oh my gosh, you guys. So you know how we've been talking about this military person for so long. Some of you, you could have met this person between the age of 18 to 21, but another story that I'm getting, official person here, you guys could have a person around you or in your family you could have a, a an angel that protects you that could have actually been like in the military or something. 18 or 21. People can go to the military at 18. Somebody could have gone, could have been like a trained assassin in the military. This person could have actually passed away. But they're like a an angel for you. This is like a, a channel message for somebody. This person is coming into this reading. Somebody could have been in the military between 18 to 21. They could have become um, the Navy, the Marines. They could have gotten their wings around 22. They could have gotten their wings. Now, getting their wings, I don't know if that means that this person could have passed on. I'm getting a lot of energy of someone deceased. Or... This person received some type of badge of honor. 18 or 22, that's only serving for three or four years. But like I said, this person ranked up quickly because they are so precise. They're so good at what they do. They're unmatched. They're undefeated. They're the best. The man in black. This is for somebody here. This is a, um, yeah, justice. And if you think about a person in the military or something like that, they fight for justice. And you do, you have assassins. Th this right here is, um, for some of you, this, this person is, is no longer with us. And they're coming through this reading and they're letting somebody know, I'll get you. This could have been for some of you, a grandfather, a father figure, or you could have been, I'm hearing a military wife. There was a TV show about something like that. Military wife. Somebody is like, I will, I'm hearing them say, I'll F up everybody. And this person said, I'm coming at my body. I'm coming at my body. I'm coming at my body for you. Yo, I got chills all over my entire body. I'm coming at my body for you. I hear somebody say, who did it? I don't know if this person whispers to you. Maybe you've heard some whispers. This is like a gentle giant. This man is um, very, very, very masculine. He's scary to some people, but he actually has a childlike spirit. He keeps saying, I'm coming at my body for you. Very soft, sweet voice. His voice does not match his face and his body. This is a lot of, this is several different people. Some of you, you have <clears throat> a man who could have been very wealthy in the past because they were considered official for things that they did for money. They were not of the light. This person was fighting to get out of poverty they did things, and you understand what I'm saying here. You can read between the lines. They could have been affiliated with certain groups that were not of the light. I don't know if this person is still here or not. It'll resonate differently for, for a lot of you. This is another energy, though, that's like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to make the call. <laughs> I'm coming at my body for you, man. And black somebody's like, Whoever you, this is definitely for a lot of divine feminists, the, your protection. You have people in this realm and in other realms who are like, I'm not going to let anything happen to you. Some of you, if you experience in some, because I hear somebody say, you can rest. You can rest now. Nothing's going to happen to you. 
I took care of it. I see now why um I couldn't do this message. Um this is heavy. Um I just keep as far as they're, like they're whispering, like I took care of it. It's okay. Like I just there's tears rolling down my cause this person, like they're they're so they're so gentle, but this this person like in in the world they're they're seen as a monster and i don't know if they're seen as a monster because of of their career choice or the lifestyle they it's different i'm getting two different specific energies one is a person justice and death is involved but it's like somebody is is um saying I had to I had to do that. I had to do that so that you wouldn't be in poverty. I have to do this to make sure you're not in poverty. Or somebody it's like somebody they're they're their reasoning for doing certain things was for their family. So this is a deceased person. They're like, I have to do the thing. This person is wanting, for some of you, this is another energy. These are a lot of different men coming into this reading. Like, they all have a lot to say. And to try to decide which spirit you're going to talk to, it's um, it's a lot, but it's happening right now. Somebody is saying, I, ha I had to do that to protect you. Somebody did certain things that they're not, I did that, I'm not proud of it. But it was the only way that you were going to eat. As a child, for some of you, this is your, this is a father, father figure, an uncle or somebody. They did things they're not proud of. To ensure that your family was okay, this person's like I'm. I'll, I'm turning over in my grave for this. The this BS. This person curses the BS that they're doing to you. And like so, I, I I have to do this. So even on the other side, this person is like, I gotta serve. I have to give you justice the way I know how to do this. And for them, it's, you know. So it goes back to what I said in the very beginning. Some of you, you have ancestors, guides, and angels, not angels. I want to say ancestors and guides who have a darker side or they've been into darker things. You're being asked to embrace a shadow aspect where you're not so afraid of things that are dark because love, light, there, there's always going to be darkness. But somebody is resorting to something darker to protect you. It has nothing to do with you. They have the clearance to do it. That's, that's who they are. And then there's this man who's official. This is another person. They could have been in the military. This could be, I mean, 100 years ago, like a long time ago. What this is, is these different spirits, these people, they, they're walking amongst us now. You have a lot of reincarnated people not reincarnated people, but a lot of souls that are reincarnated. These people in, when they were living before in their past life, they were skilled at bringing justice and endings. 
they're walking amongst us now. They're walking beside a lot of chosen ones as protectors. Nothing gets past them. Whether when they were here, they were doing things of the light or of the dark. And, and this is why now you're being asked to open your mind up more because it's very easy to pass judgment and say, oh, that person, they're so bad, they're so bad. But I'll say this, a good person can do something bad in, in, a, in a moment and a bad person can always do great things. Everything is a choice. You can have a person who is, who is dark, who chooses to save your life. Just like you can have a person who is of the light, who chooses to take a life. Somebody, when it comes to a divine feminine or masculine, just a chosen person here, what they're saying is, I don't care if it's dark or if it's light. We protect you with our life, with our light, whether it's light or dark. Our only goal is to protect you. And that gives me the vibes again of like a galactic being, an extraterrestrial. I talked about this also a few weeks ago. These beings, they don't have like human emotions. So for them, oh, it goes back to me talking about like that gen, gen spirit or something where I did that reading maybe like within the last month about the galactic beings. They don't, they don't um, see things from, from like human emotions. They're not robots, but... <laughs> They're not humans. What I, I had another read about the Nephilims or something like that. Nephilims. And I talked about that reading that time about women who carry the Eve gene. Whatever your purpose is in life, you have to be protected at all costs. So it's almost like if we even have to go to the pits of hell to get a demon to protect you, we'll do that. Whoever is available at the time is who will protect you. Today it's an angel protecting you. Tomorrow it's a demon from the lower level of hell that's protecting you. Whoever, whoever has, to, you have 24, 7, round the clock protection. And it's, it doesn't matter where it comes from. Your, your life is so valuable. Your purpose is so important. Justice. in the form of whatever death or ending has to happen, must be served to ensure that she who carries the Eve gene is protected. Somebody here, you're, you're supposed to birth something that's going to change the world. You have to be protected. So your angels, your guides, your ancestors, whoever has imprinted you, whoever, whatever guides or angels were assigned to you at birth, before birth. Some of you also in your spiritual awakening, you're connecting with them. Some of you, you may have recently learned the name of your guide. A lot of times you, you know you have guides, but you don't, you don't know. You, you have a guide, an ancestor, uh, passed on, they're getting closer to you. They're, they're making their presence known. You're creating a relationship. They're, you know, okay, I'll, I'll tell you my name now. Because they want you to call them. A lot of times people, they don't know the names of their ancestors or the guys because they have so many. It's interesting because I have this book here that I bought and I haven't read it yet. But something just, it sits here and I never look at it. But I'm being call right now to look at what this book says and this it says you got to dance like nobody's watching dream like you will live forever do what you love and do it often your future is created by what you do today you need to pray today this message is on top of this box sitting underneath this book okay embrace every possibility like nobody's listening smile Something is being cleared up for you. This book is called Spirits Unveiled, and it says a fresh perspective on angels, guides, ghosts, and more. You can buy this book on Amazon. I haven't read it yet. From ancestors and animal spirits to elementals and extraterrestrials, 
Spirits Unveiled presents an impressive variety of energetic beings. Each chapter features a particular kind of spirit and teaches you how to sense its presence. Identify and connect with it. So just like I did here in this reading, some of you are mediums. Oh, I had a reading about that too, about the double mission. I think it may have been a Sagittarius reading. This is like a year old. You can look it up though. Um, it's on one of those playlists as well. Some of you are tapping into your ability to of like mediumship. It says spirits are all around us, whether we realize it or not. Michelle Welch demystifies concepts and debunks misconceptions about different entities, helping you interact with them in healthy ways. Oh my goodness. This is what I'm saying. Some of you guys have been taught that certain things are dark. If you have a calling, a purpose, a mission to save or to protect, maybe you are the official person who has reincarnated and in a past life you were a military person or something or some type of assassin. You're being asked now to be able to tap into that power now. You have to stop thinking that justice and karma is, is all bad. You have to stop thinking that to end a situation is bad. You're going to have to stop being a people pleaser. You're going to have to stop sitting alongside and letting people hurt or harm you, your family, your bloodline. And you're going to have to step up and realize that there's a lot of different beings out here. And you're going to have to discern who and what to connect to and, and, and not just, but still there are different beings that exist that some may consider dark. But they've been assigned to you to help you. A person who carries light, you go into a lot of very dark places. You cannot fear darkness. So the biggest thing, wow. So for some of you, you have this energy around you. But for some of you, this could be you in a past life carried this type of energy. And the reason why you're struggling to tap into it now to protect yourself and the things that are important to you is because you feel like perhaps, oh, your spiritual gifts even. You feel like it's something bad. It goes back to what I said in the very beginning of somebody going to like a metaphysical store for the very first time. In a medical physical store, you can get books like this that will explain things to you. So maybe you've been taught, don't watch certain things, don't go in that store, you know, don't, don't buy a crystal or, or whatever it is, but that's who you are. It's a part of your being and it's a part of your path. So for you to go to the next level in your journey, you're going to have to change how you think about death about consciousness, about what's behind the veil. You're being asked to remove fear about the unknown and tap into your ability probably to connect with different beings. But if a, a darker being comes to you and says, well, I'm going to protect your entire family, you have to understand that that doesn't make you dark or anything like it's not for you to judge and condemn. You're receiving help and assistance from several different places. And some, this is not you making a deal with the devil, but everybody carries light and dark energy. Someone that has a lot of huge misconceptions about their shadow or about just their spiritual gifts, talents, and abilities. Maybe, you know, you grew up in a family and they're telling you, you know, you don't need to burn sage. But somebody here was like a born priestess or high priestess or this official person in the spirit realm but you still have a veil over your eyes where you're afraid to embrace this. If this isn't you, this is someone you're connected to. 
Some of you could be connecting with a specific, like a soulmate. Could be a, it could be a twin flame or a soulmate, and they're extremely gifted, but they haven't fully tapped into it. So it's possible sometimes that a person can be doing things in the spirit realm and they don't know it. You could have a counterpart that's protecting you in the spirit realm, doing all kind of stuff, and they don't know it. This person is going to have to connect with spirit. To learn the, I heard, I'm here, to learn the laws of the land. Somebody here is astral traveling. They're going different places. They're fighting battles like like some kind of like a military person. Somebody here is going and they're fighting spiritual battles. I don't think that they're aware of it. This could be you or someone you're connecting with. This book, it says she introduces you to both. And I, I promise you, I have never. This book has been sitting up here for weeks. I just took it out of a bag and said it here. I have never read the back of this book. I've never read this book. Just like in all these decks I have, I, I don't read the books. I, I keep telling myself that I'm going to start reading. I just get into the messages and I look at the pictures on the cards. But there's, this says, she introduces you to both inspirational spirits like angels and guides, as well as scarier beings like ghosts and demons. Isn't this not what I just said? You'll learn how to scry with elementals, connect with an ascended master. I said ascended masters earlier. This was so divinely guided. I love when spirit does that. You'll learn how to scry with elementals, connect with an ascended master, protect against psychic attacks, astral travel, and more. Providing meditations, visualizations, and inspiring stories. This book helps boost your intuition and spiritual experience. Hell, I need to read this book myself. I mean, I bought it, but I haven't read it. I've never even opened it. I just picked it up. I just flipped to this, this page, and the first thing I see is 11 ways to know a ghost is near. So, this is all about... Look at here, number 10, it says multi-dimensional beings, extraterrestrials. So some of you right now, you your spiritual gifts are going to the next level. You're connecting with different beings and possibly learning that you are a different type of being and you have the ability to connect with different beings. Yeah. So you're being protect so you're being protected by these different beings. So you you have to learn how to identify them. For one, you, you need to even be able to thank them. Some of you you don't realize that you're being helped, but you need to give thanks or some type of of course for some an offering. Okay, for people who are connected with their ancestors, maybe your ancestors want an offering. You know, I mean people, you know, they set up altars and you know, give water, food, and stuff like that. You can research that kind of stuff on your own. Um, some people, you know, I don't know, ancestors, ascending, everybody, everybody resonates with something different. That's a part of your spiritual path and journey. You have to discover who and what you're connecting with or what you resonate with, things like that. But for some of you specifically, if it's something like with ancestors, maybe they're wanting some type of offering from you. I feel like you have different beings who are trying to establish a relationship with you because they want you to understand the importance of relationships so that they can protect you. In order for you to call on their help or for you to receive messages and downloads, you have to establish a relationship. So you need to pray more. You need to meditate. You need to cleanse your space, your body. Um, Yeah, I keep it coming out my body for you. The way I feel about you, the way I feel these days, I'm coming out my body for you, baby girl. Something's getting dropped for you, baby girl. Yeah, somebody's like, yeah. <clears throat> I'll kill for you. So you have a divine protector here that will 
kill for you. They'll destroy things for you, is what this is. It's very clear. Very clear. Or this is who you are. You can do this. Maybe you don't, you don't know you can. But that's why they're saying you need to get into prayer and meditation more to get a fresh perspective on angels, guys, ghosts, and more because you need to know what your abilities are. Or maybe you need to be able to teach another person what their abilities are. There is for some of you like a divine union here. You and another person, I've talked about this in readings as well. If you are this spiritually strong, of course, your counterpart is also very strong. You and this other person, you both have a very unique set of gifts, talents, and abilities. I had a reading a few months ago where I said, you and this person, you're exchanging gifts. So you and a counterpart both have these strong, strong gifts and abilities. And when it comes, when you have to come together to protect one another, you and this person, maybe you're astral traveling to one another or you're astral traveling together. Okay, I'm hearing you and somebody are possibly astral traveling together or you're supposed to learn how to astral travel together to go out and solve like spiritual crimes. But one of you is afraid. One of you is afraid to do that. So somebody here may be more spiritual and the other person is more religious or someone here is fearless while the other person is really scary. I don't know. But you have a mission where you and someone are supposed to go different planes, realms, and dimensions, I feel, to solve spiritual crimes. But somebody is more awakened and has ascended at a more rapid pace than the other. This person is like, come on, come on, come with me. I'm here supposed to come with me. If it's not like a, a counterpart, you just have a guy. They're telling you, come with me. Let me show you how to do this. This is for sure like an initiation. This is um, tapping into something new. Come with me. Let me show you. I'll show you. I feel like this person, they could have been someone who... Somebody here has flown before. Show me, I'll show you how to fly. Come on. The Marines, the Navy. I'll show you how to fly. Getting wings. You get something about getting wings to fly. So, mediumship and astral travel or projection. is being highlighted. Somebody could be a part of a secret group, like a government group, where they use some type of like psychic gifts or something, like psychic investigations. Maybe this is something that's in your future but you're you're being called now to expand your gifts. What? Yeah. Somebody in your life is already doing this or they did this in the past. I just keep feeling like somebody passed away and I said this um in a reading a few months ago, if it seems like for some of you, someone passed away early and they quickly came back. I have a reading where I say for some of you, you even have like a, a member of your family who may have passed on very early. They never had a family or something like that. It's like they're passing the torch to you. They want you to do everything that they didn't do. Somebody's like, be better than me. 
they see you struggling so they're like well i'll give you my gift this is how i was able to excel in life so i'm going to give you my gifts i'm going to teach you how to fly i'm going to show you how to do everything because i want you to be the best this person is so excited i want you to be the best i'll show you how to do it and anybody that gets in your way i, I i'll take care of it This is a man, for some of you, for some it's a young man, for some it's an older man, for some it's a, an uncle or grandfather, for some it's a, it's a husband, for some it's, it's the person that you probably are going to marry. <laughs> for some of you, it's like you, it seems almost like you may have a counterpart It's so weird. But it's almost like this person it's like they're coming into your life with somebody that you've known before, maybe even a family member, a past lover of yours. Some of you like if you're a widow or something, your spouse is is like coming back to you. In a, in a different body. But they're trying to get you to open your mind up to see. I hear some this, this person is telling me now. Tell her it's me. <laughs> tell her it's me. <laughs> okay. So somebody needs to know. That <laughs> this person who cares about you a lot. They're coming. They're coming to you in a different body. Or they've come to you in a different body. Or maybe that's an ability that they have. You, you have a person around you and this person, they're jumping in their body when they need to. It makes sense coming at my body for you. I'm also getting for some of you, you have, maybe you're connected to somebody. They could be like a medium. Or they allow different spirits to... invoke or evoke they can allow spirits to come into their body to use them as a vessel so you can find yourself around a person and different spirits are coming to them to communicate with you it's it's like a mirror spirits will come to them or this is being done to you spirits will come to you just like me like you can channel a message from a spirit and give it to somebody it's mediumship <laughs> 